Technical T-Rex, technical T-Rex The T in T-Rex stands for technical My technical training left out the important part of actually building a robot. Could one of you help me? It's okay, technical T-Rex. I, I will help you. One second, let me come over. I'll help you, this time. Careful, hey, see, watch it, okay? Okay. We started by deciding what robot to build and buying our components. We chose to start with a one pound FingerTech Viper kit that has everything we need to get started. We'll use the chassis, motors, wheels and hubs, hardware, and a few more parts like tools, batteries, and a receiver and transmitter. We started by installing the drive motors in the robot and connected the electronics. Then, we had to mount each motor to the robot's chassis using screws. Our next step was to add the wheel hubs to the shafts of the motors. Now, we get to mount the wheels to the hub. It's starting to look like a robot. Let's decorate our robot with stickers or paint. We'll also need to come up with a name for our robot before our first competition. We can add weapons or attachments to our robot to help us win battles. Just like our favorite robots on the TV show. Before we connect the battery, we need to make sure we follow the instructions and do everything safely. Once we plug the battery in, we're almost ready to turn on the robot. First, we need to add the armor. We'll attach it using screws to make sure it can take some damage. It's okay if you need help with some of the steps like I did. Building robots is easier as a team. Even different teams help each other all the time. Now we're ready to drive the robot. We'll have to turn our transmitter on, then turn the switch on. And we can finally give it a try. It works! Now the R in T-Rex stands for Robot Builder. Thank you for helping me, Will. You're so smart.